to get the opportunity to do some kind of mural in St Kilda if I could. Rob um, Tudor got really passionate about getting me involved, especially because now I've been diagnosed with terminal cancer. He said, look, I'll, I'll run a crowdfunding campaign. If I can get the money together, would you do the project? My style of doing murals, I've done quite a few now, is on panels and attaching them to walls. Uh, I'm not really into spray, spraying, it's toxic and I'm into sitting things off the brickwork so it comes at you, so it's more of a relief. There's about 80 panels I've got going in the studio now in the early stages, but yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of hour after hour after hour after hour to paint all different characters, all individual artworks by hand on all those panels. I was uh, just arrived in Melbourne and I saw this flyer of the exhibition sticking on the fridge and said, oh, I love this art. I really want to meet this person. This art is amazing. And so I met him because I came here to help him one day and after we, we created a really good synergy straight away. And so we started to work together. I don't want to paint something that's too um, literal, because St Kilda's not literal. It's very hard to, to determine and put your finger on. It's a real mixture of all kinds of elements that make up this really broad community, you know, of different people and different creatives. They are characters, and so he plays a lot. Uh, he, he brings them to life. Everything is, uh, is uh, everything he play. He plays a lot with characters. And there is a lot of faces and skulls and things looking at you. You are overwhelmed by all this. You feel like you're not alone, you know. Uh, but uh, he brings them to life. And yeah, not everyone's going to be into my style and my representation of St Kilda, but the mural inside will be very vivid, very colourful, very eclectic, very character driven, which is how I see St Kilda. There's probably 87 of the panels this size and a bit smaller. And then there's probably 20 panels of the text, or maybe more, and the palm trees. It's really beautiful, but also you can get meanings that are really connected to the an ironical point of view of the raw life. I think this is really powerful. Oh no, something of Anthony Breslin. Whether it is as a friend, an artist, or an indomitable force within the Melbourne art scene. It's powerful, it's got attitude, uh, and it's very St Kilda, and I really like it, and I hope that people coming to this wonderful part of our local community, they enjoy it, and well done, mate. This is, this is, this is a really uh, a striking and amazing piece. And I'm very grateful. His work behind the scenes, everything, phenomenal amount of effort and work and dedication to the project. Thank you, Rob, very much. Thank you.